What's up again guys, yeah it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2. And before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay, before we move on to Blood Moon Island, the final section of Reaper's Coast slash Act 2, I'm gonna tie up some loose ends first. Specifically, those interested with the tablet or the sworn breaker schematic, which I got in my previous episode at the ancient temple in the Black Pit's mine. Let's start with double crossing Riker. and stitched. Perhaps some sort of necromancy? This is gonna be another cakewalk for me. But uh, if you're having a hard time with this fight, take note of how I set up the rest of my squad. While my main is still locked in dialogue with Riker. During the uh, fight, focus fire on him cause uh, if he goes down, all his minions go down with him as well. By the way, if your spirit vision is turned on, you can also use source vampirism on the uh, ghosts of his servants to eliminate them instantly. Anyhow, double crossing him means asking him to fulfill the end of his bargain first, then depriving him of the schematic. There you are, girl. I'm eager to hear your good news. How marvelous. Riker's lips tremble impatiently as his eyes dart to your pack. Show it to me. He considers you for a moment. Very well. Riker closes his eyes and spreads his arms, then begins to recite a vivid incantation. I call the souls of the dead. Your remains, the stone garden's eternal burden, descend from the hall. Surrender your source to the vessel before me. Riker's voice grows even louder until his words echo from every crevice in the chamber. Swan and Ritz, Crossley and Locke, Quincy, Keller, Hop, Haran, an essence yours no longer. Souls and source come forth. Cross to the void so that he might awaken. The words wrap themselves around you, then slip through your pores. You feel as if you could skate upon water or leap among the clouds. You are no longer less, but more. Your well overflows, Godwoken. But I will stay as true to my word as I can. Accept this gift from the spirits of the Stone Garden, in lieu of the mastery you already possess, and thus I can no longer offer. <laughs> you thought you might turn the tables, did you? Such naivety. Almost charming, really. But we had an agreement. The tablet is mine. A shame it has to be this way. I was just getting fond of you. Look out! I see a trap nearby.
Why? And super rad. The spouse of the sun saves the day. Now to access the locked room adjacent to this main chamber. Simply pull the lever on the wall near the portrait of Lady Nita. Inside that room is a tinibrium chest that drains 1 SP per interaction, which contains the yellow teleporter pyramid, the third one you can get in the game. By the way, all his servants are gone, so ransack his mansion. And uh, don't forget to talk to Gravekeeper Farima to finish the Reluctant Servant's Quest. Alright, next, we return to the ship to close Elmira's request. And uh, here's stupid Tarkin again. Personally, if it's uh, even possible, I'd prefer having Riker here than this piece of Anyway, give Elmira the uh, schematic, so she'll reward you with a unique ring and close her quest. Then, simply pickpocket back the tablet from her. Again, I'm gonna use my main which has high persuasion as a shield to win the check for when she inspects my bag. We remain vulnerable while at anchor. Better to make for the open ocean at first convenience, don't you think? Have you made any progress with my request, dear? Have you found that tablet? Excellent! Why, I knew I could rely on you! That is all for now, darling. My thanks! Here, a little token for all your efforts so far. Oh, I'd better study this tablet for a while. I'm sure it could teach even me a thing or two. Before traveling to Blood Moon Island, here are the uh, quests that are linked with that area. In my uh, playthrough, Losi is dead, but uh, if you have her in your party, her personal quest updates there. As per Tarkin's All in the Family quest, the other part of the Anathema can be found there. The others, we touch on as we move along, but uh, before you journey to the island, Speak with a 2,000-year-old demon hunter Jahan, who was a companion in the prequel game, to get his A Hunter of Wicked Things quest. He can be found east of the Cloisterwood Waypoint. Speaking of uh, Cloisterwood, the first way to get into the island is via an undead tomb. Needless to say, immune to death fog. If you have Fane, go north of Cloisterwood and charter the dead ferryman with a hundred gold. Don't forget to bring a teleporter pyramid so you can port in the rest of your squad after landing on the shore. I'm gonna go the other way cause I'm cheap and I don't wanna spend anything. I'm here at the Driftwood Fields waypoint and you just need to cast Spirit Vision to reveal the hidden bridge. By the way, just be careful with traps.
What lies ahead looks even less welcoming. Greetings and sh salutations. Have no fear, we'll mean you no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. The being sniffs the air in your direction and licks his lips. He moves a couple of paces towards you, his eyes hungry and entranced. He abruptly slaps himself in the face and halts his advance. My manners, master would not be pleased. He awaits you west of here. He will not harm you. Others may. The uh, first objective is to chat with the advocates, which is west and not far from the gate that we came in from. But uh, of course, to make traveling easier, I had to discover this waypoint first. Anyway, stay tuned in for my next episodes. We'll flip this corrupted island over. And that's all there is for now. Thanks for watching. Also, uh, check out other videos from Sabbath Plan Philippines and subscribe. See you on my next vid. Peace out.